Good morning, Fellowship High Chris fam, and this is your jump start for December the 22nd of 2021. We are getting close to the end of the year. Hey, our jump start passage for this morning comes from 1 John uh, chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. And here's what it says. It says, see what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that what, when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Man, John is on it. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning. For God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning, because he has been born of God. By this, it is evident who are the children of God, who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. Wow. Wow. You know what? This is a timely passage for this time of year. Often um, what's emphasized so much in this time of year is God's love. And that's great. We should emphasize that. And sometimes, though, it's emphasized to the neglect of emphasizing the righteousness and justice of God. And, and we like to emphasize that because we want people to feel good about themselves and feel good around the holidays and not have to grapple with the truth, the whole truth of God's word. But here's the here's the truth of it. How we live matters. God is sovereign. He does forgive. We are going to fail to live perfectly. But there's a thing in there. There's this word in there of practice. And this is this present tense verb of continuing on. There should be something in us that that if we are born again of God, that we should continue on to try to live in a way where we're continually being purified and our nature changes to match he of whom we are born of. Him who is pure. And, And there should be something in us that less and less practices, intentionally practices or lives in a state or or conducts ourselves in a way that is unrighteous, that is lawless. And so we should be looking at those things and asking ourselves questions. And yes, God is love. And Jesus did come to forgive us of our sins. It says that in here. Jesus came to forgive us of our sins and to see us be changed in the people who sin less. It's not one or the other. It's both in the same. He came for eternity and for right now and how we live and how we reflect. And here's the deal. At the end of this passage, there's this kicker in there that he throws in there. He says, by this is it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. Whoo. Hey, who is my brother? And what does it look like to love him? With that, you'd have to go back to the great commandment. And that's the challenge for all of us as we gather with a family, as we conduct ourselves in this in this time crunch part of the year where it's easy for our tempers to run short. Um, Part of being identified with Christ also includes our actions, not just a prayer that we pray or something that we recited in the service or taking a dunk in water and also how we love those around us. Hey, continue to power up, pour in and spill out. And remember this as you go into your Christmas holiday. Jesus didn't just come to forgive us of our sins. He came for us to be changed people who reflect his glory in our everyday lives.